What's going on Legionnaires and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell and make sure you're not missing any of the content we have coming out. Now it is finally freaking here. King in Black issue number 5. We are getting into it, we're diving into it. Now if you haven't checked out Venom issue number 34, I just posted that video so go check it out because it's really the prequel to the King in Black 5. Now if you haven't been keeping up with the King in Black line at all, go ahead and check out the link in the description as well as the top of the video. It's going to get you completely covered on everything King in Black related. We have every single issue covered so go check it out. Now this is written by Donny Cates. The art is by Ryan Stegman, and cover is by the same. Now, we're not going to waste any time, so let's get into this breakdown. All right, guys, it is freaking here. It is beginning. Let's do this. Oh, my God, I love it. It's freaking awesome. So the opening panel, we see the Silver Surfer standing in front of the god known as Noel himself. Now, right now, Silver Surfer stands alone, opposing Noel by himself. And Noel is unfazed. And Silver Surfer, unimpressed. And now that Silver Surfer has brought the God of Light here, it's only a matter of time before Noel meets his end. Now, this doesn't really phase Noel. He's not worried about the God of Light showing up. Because no matter how fast light travels, no matter how much light there is, there is always a little bit of darkness sitting, waiting for its opportunity. And as Noel draws his blade to go and strike Silver Surfer down, we see the X-Men, we see the Fantastic Four, we see the Avengers all assembling, ready to take on Noel. But before they even get the opportunity, a giant ball of light comes flying in. And as Venom lands on the ground, he lets them know that he's going to take it from here. And we see some amazing freaking artwork here. I absolutely love how well detailed all of this is. Now, Noel sees this and he's just like, this This is a joke, right? You guys, like, you're going to you're gonna take over and, and use him as a host. The guy that I've killed a bunch of times already. The guy I've dropped to his death more than twice at this point. Now Venom, Captain Universe, Captain Venom, whatever you want to call him, he sees the arrogance in Noel because Noel believes that he's beaten him before, that he's beaten Venom, that he's beaten Eddie Brock. But this is when we see Venom call Mjolnir right from Thor's hand as well as taking Silver Surfer's sword. And taking these weapons, he tells Surfer, he tells Thor, and Spider-Man to stay here and protect the innocent. That he is going to take care of this. And this is when he takes Thor's hammer, he takes Silver Surfer's sword, and clashes them together. Forming the battle axe of freaking light. And Noel has underestimated him. Because Noel may have beaten Eddie. He may have beaten Venom. But he has never faced what he is about to face. This is the comeback kid. The comeback king. And almost immediately, Noel is on the run. He's taken off. He is not staying here to find out exactly what the God of Light has in store for him. And Venom is in hot pursuit. He's chasing him down. But Noel's throwing everything in his arsenal at Venom. But this is nothing for the God of Light. The God of Light takes his great axe, he takes his battle axe, and just wipes it through Symbiote Dragons like they are freaking butter. Duncan McCloud would be thrilled right now. We would see a Highlander with the highest amount of freaking power. That's how many heads are just getting decapitated right now. And Venom tells him to stop hiding. You need to come out and face me. We need to do this, get it over with. And Noel tries to do a surprise attack, using All Black coming down with it, but Venom grabs it with his bare freaking hand, and it disintegrates on the freaking spot. And he tells Noel, no more, no more of this, no more swords, no more dragons, just you and just me. Let's do this, let's get this over with. And we see him grab Noel and throw him down into the ground, 
through a building, and as he goes to deal that death blow with his axe, a hand of the Celestial comes breaking through the side of the wall. But the God of Light, he doesn't even care. He flies out there, takes his great axe, and just cuts the head off of the Celestial, and it's done. It's over with. That fight is won. Now he can go back to focusing on Noel. And Noel trying to escape. Venom grabs him out of the air. Because Venom's able to fly right now, by the way. I, I did forget to mention that. But Venom is freaking flying without wings. He's just flying. Because this is Captain Captain Universe. This is Captain Venom. And so Venom grabs him out of the air. And puts him in an all too familiar situation. Venom has Noel hanging off the side of this building. And tells him, I remember being in this exact spot. All the pain, the fear, the agony. As you ripped my symbiote from me. As you ripped my other part from me. And this is where he takes his axe and plunges it into the chest. And pulling back, he rips Noel's symbiote clean off his body. And he lets Noel feel all the fear, the helplessness. And he drops him. And we see Noel fall all the way to the ground. But Venom's not done yet. And he tells him to get up. And Noel, he's telling him, like, you can't, you can't win. You can't kill me because the darkness, it lives. It lives inside your son. And Venom, you know, he's like, all right, you want to talk about the son? You want to talk about my son? Let's talk about it. And this is where we see him grab Noel and fly. He goes straight up and breaks through Earth's atmosphere. Now screaming in agonizing pain. Noel is literally being drugged all the way to our son. And Noel is telling him there's always going to be darkness. But Venom, he knows this. They may even lose. They may all be consumed by the void. Doomed to drown in the kingdom of black. But he doesn't care. Because right now what he's doing, he's doing for Dylan. He's doing for his son. And this is where he holds Noel directly next to the sun. And we see Noel literally vanish into ash. And with Noel being dead... Captain Universe talks to Eddie because right now Eddie and Venom they're hearing they're hearing voices calling to them but they don't really understand what it's saying and Captain Universe lets him know that that he's done it they're singing to him because Noel is gone the hive they are finally freaking free they are no longer in the control of Noel and this is where we see the vampires all of them starting to rise up because right now the, the, the sun is still currently blocked out by this symbiote that's covering the earth. And we see Blade just rip it through vampires and he's getting overrun here. Looks like he's about to lose, but he's laughing because he knows what's about to happen. He knows that this war is over and that that dome that is covering the earth right now, that's about to fall. And that's exactly what we see happen. And the sun breaks in and we see vampires everywhere turning to ash. Now this battle has been won. So the great axe, it's split back into Thor's hammer and into, into Silver Surfer's board. And we see our Captain Venom, our Captain Universe come descending out of the sky. And as he lands on the ground, he is surrounded by all of his peers. And everyone's, you know, happy, congratulating him, clapping. You know, he is the hero of the day. He has saved Earth. And this is where he frantically looks for Dylan. And seeing Dylan, Dylan, something's going on with him. And rushing over to him, he sees, he sees Noel's symbol in his eyes. And something's wrong with him because a piece of Noel, that darkness is still inside of Dylan. And Eddie tells him that he needs to hold still and this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt just a little bit. And he reaches inside of his chest using the power of Captain Universe to rip out the darkness that's inside. And he grabs that darkness and he crushes it in his hand. And just like that, we see Captain Universe leaving Eddie Brock's body. Now, Eddie doesn't really understand what's going on here, but the Captain Universe, it lets him know that this is that the job's done. You don't need my help anymore. You have a new role to play here. You've become something else. And this is when we hear Venom's voice. Venom saying that he's found him and asking if he can feel what happened. Because right now, he's hearing all of these voices. 
and we see Venom come back to Eddie Brock, and now they are finally whole again in the real world. Now, all of these voices, what they're speaking is the ancient tongue. Because he defeated the Void, he freed their kind. And now Eddie Brock is the hive mind. He is now the god of the symbiotes. Eddie Brock is now the king in black. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I absolutely loved all of it. There's there's not a single bit that I did not like about this. I really thought we might see some more other characters on display in some of these, you know, bigger panels. But I'm not disappointed with the characters they chose to use and really how it was done. You know, this was all about Venom. And I've never been a, a huge, you know... Venom fan, but the King in Black really has gave me a, a, a lot more respect for the character as a whole. And I, I don't think I could say enough, the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. They have done a great job of bringing this to life. Now I do think all of the tie-ins at the end of the day were a bit excessive. But issues 1 through 5 of the King of Black are absolute, just masterpieces of comic book work. At least in my opinion. Others aren't going to agree with me and that's completely fine. But I think that these were just amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, please do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell. Be sure to check in the channel later. We're going to be covering King and Black Planet of the Symbiotes. But I'm not too worried about that because it's not directly tying in to the overall plot of what's happening in these two issues. But yeah, with that being said, until the next breakdown.